Hey uh, folks, uh, Mr. MathBlog here, and this uh, math operation is called Order of Operations. So Order of Operations follows this thing called PEMDAS. That's the, the order you have to do it. So the P stands for parentheses, so let's go ahead and do that. So you evaluate the problems in this order, in, in the PEMDAS order. So P stands for the parentheses. If you see any parentheses, you have to do that first. Then. Uh, if you see any exponents, so you do parentheses first, then exponents second. If you see any exponents, like, you know, 5 to the second power, you got to do that second. Then you got to do multiplication and or division uh, next, you guys. So it could go division and multiplication or multiplication and division. These guys go together. It just depends on which one comes first as you're reading it from left to right. Okay, so division can come first, and you got to do that first. All right, and then finally, addition and subtraction is last. You do that last. Okay, and you could do subtraction before addition, you guys. Um, uh, it just depends on which one comes first as you read it from left to right. Okay, and I've always remembered it saying it this way, you guys. Um, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, and if you can remember that little phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, the P would be for parentheses, the E would be exponents, that would be multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Okay, so parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Okay, and that's the order that you do that. Now, I get kids, you guys, that say, uh, this stuff is easy. My students say that all the time, and they, they make mistakes all the time. I make mistakes all the time, too, you guys. I try to do too many steps at once, and, and that's where kids get tripped up on. So what I would do is just do one step at a time, and that's what I'm going to do in this video, one step at a time. And, and if you want, you guys, go ahead and pause it right here, and you try it right here. Go ahead and try it. So pause it down here in this left-hand corner down here. All right, and then go ahead and give it a shot, and then come back. All right, so I don't see any parentheses, so I look for exponents. I don't see any exponents, so I look for any multiplying or dividing. And there's a division right there. I have to do that first. So let's go ahead and do 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay, that's the first thing I did. All right, so now I don't have any more division or multiply in there. Now I go to addition and subtraction. So I do whichever one comes first. So starting here, i got to do this addition sign first. So I'm going to do 17 plus 5 is 22. Okay, and then finally we can finish it off and 22 minus 4 is uh, 18. Okay, and that's your answer, 18. All right, let's try another one, you guys. Okay, go ahead and pause it and you try it. All right, so again, uh, this one's just like the last one, except i got to do the multiply first. So 2 times 18 is uh, 36. Okay, and then, uh, so I don't have anything else except addition and subtraction, but this time I have the subtraction that comes first, so I have to do 9 minus 8 first. So 9 minus 8 is 1. Okay, one step at a time, you guys, and then now I can go ahead and add uh, 1 plus 36 is 37. Okay, all right, let's try another one here. Okay, so go ahead and pause and you try, you guys, and a lot of kids say this is easy and they just make errors. Me too, I make errors on this all the time, you guys. Okay, pause it and you try all right, come back and then uh, uh, my PEMDAS says uh, I have to do this division before I do this multiplication because I read it from left to right. So I have to do 12 divided by 2 first. So 12 divided by 2 is 6, okay? Now i got to do the 6 times 9 because that's a multiply. So 6 times 9 is 54. And then we can go ahead and subtract 54 minus 5 is uh, 49, okay? How you guys doing? All right, well, let's let's try and uh, pick it up a little bit. Well, one more of these, you guys. Okay, go ahead and try this right here. Go ahead and pause it. And then uh, come back. And so i uh, got to do uh, 12 times 16 first. And I think I'll go ahead and do the 10 times 5, or 10 divided by 5 also. No, I guess I didn't. Good. Uh, too many times. Uh, a lot of kids want to do too many things at once. And I get carried away also. 12 times 16, I did that over here. 6 times 2 is 12, so carry the 2 for the 12 and the 1 up there. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and then I carry the 0 down, and then 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1, and then go ahead and add them together. And I showed in a video when I was multiplying two digits by two digits, I can change uh, 12 to 10 plus 2 and change 16 to 10 plus 6, and I can do multiples of 10. And look, I do 10 times 10 gets me this 100. And then I did um, uh, this 10 times 6 right here, and that gave me 60. And then I did 2 times 10 is 20, and then I did 2 times 6 is 12, and you can add them all up, and you get 192, whichever's your fancy right there. 
All right, now, my next step right here is I got to do this division sign next. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. Okay, so I did that next. And then now you can do that subtraction and get 190. Okay, how you doing? All right, let's try some with parentheses here. So go ahead and pause it and let's take care of this guy here. All right, so when you come back, got to do those parentheses first. And inside the parentheses, I have to add. So I'm going to go ahead and add the 13 plus 39 first, okay? And then now I'm still in the parentheses here. I haven't cleaned up the parentheses, so I got to do 52 minus 4. 52 minus 4 is 48. Okay, and now I'm down to uh, the division. So 48 divided by 3, uh, you get 16, okay? And I did that over here, okay? I did uh, long division. 3 goes into 4 one time. And so uh, 1 times 3 is 3, so 4 minus 3 is this 1, and then I slid down the 8, so it's 18, and then 3 went into 18 6 times, okay, and 3 times 18 is 18, so you get a remainder of 0. So there's the answer right there, 16, okay? Those of you guys that uh, need a little re a refresher on long division, uh, and I have videos of those for you too. Okay, here's another one, you guys. So do the parentheses first, pause it right here, and you try. Okay, come back, do the parentheses first, so it's 23. Then I multiply next, 23 times 9 is 207, and then finally subtract it out, and you get uh, 202. All right, let's try some with some exponents, you guys, parentheses and exponents, okay? So go ahead and pause it. Okay, this is where my kids really start stumbling. All right, and then I got to do the parentheses first. So I just highlighted the parentheses. Now inside these parentheses, I'm going to do this exponent next because that's what comes next. I'm still with the parentheses. So inside the parentheses, I just did the 5 squared, 5 times 5. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and, and subtract in here 73 minus 25 and then 5 plus 8 over here. I'm dealing with the parentheses still. Okay, so I get 48 on this side, I get 8 on this side, and then uh, four, now we can divide 48 divided by 8. Okay, how are we doing? 6. All right, let's try one more of those rascals, okay? Okay, go ahead and pause it, and you try it. Okay, so come back, and we've got to do the parentheses first. All right, now I'm going to do the exponent second, so the 2 squared is 4. That's all I did, and then now I have to do the 11 times 9 first. So the 11 times 9 is 99, okay? And then I'm still in the parentheses, so I still got to clean this up. So 99 plus 4 is 103. You can use your fingers. Add 4, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103. I'm holding my fingers as I'm counting. Yes, I still use my fingers to count. Uh, and then 103 minus 8. If I take off 8, you should get uh, 95. Okay? Take care, everybody.